The third lesson of this unit is called Curve of Best Fit. A curve of best fit is a curve that passes as close as possible to a set of plotted points. To draw a curve of best fit, draw the smooth curve that passes through as many points as possible. So it's similar to a line of best fit. It doesn't actually have to hit all of the ordered pairs. It just has to be a nice representation of the points that are shown. So it says, number one says, describe any trends in the data. Draw a curve of best fit for each set of data. So here's our first example. Um, let me just move this down a little. Here's our first example. This is the path of an arrow. So again, always look to the title to kind of tell you what, what is this graph about? What am I looking at here? So this is the path of an arrow. Um, the height that it's shot from, so you assume it's shot from about one and a half meters off the ground. And it's also uh, height plotted against time, and the time is in seconds. The height is in meters, like this. This kind of stuff really matters when you're trying to give answers for what your, uh, what your graph is about. So draw a curve of best fit for each set of data. So here's our first set of data. Um, it actually looks like a pretty perfect curve. You can imagine, and this is, this is kind of just nice to do freehand with a pencil, uh, you can imagine that there is a nice curve coming up. I don't, I didn't really hit those. Uh, you know, if I don't really hit and go right through some of them, that's okay. You try and make it as nice and smooth as you can, and you don't actually have to hit every single ordered pair. You're trying to give a nice representation of how this arrow would go through the air. So the maximum height of the arrow is, is five meters, and then it falls back down again, we assume, right to the ground. Um, it says, describe any trends in the data. There's obviously a trend here, right? As time goes by, as time increases, this way, as time goes up, the height of the arrow increases, but only to a certain point. And then, as time increases, the arrow falls again. Okay, so there's a maximum height of this arrow. And there definitely is still a trend. I know it doesn't look like a straight line, but it's obvious what is happening to this arrow. It's going up after about one second, and then it's going to fall. Okay, so there can still be a trend, even though it's a curve. The next one, uh, if we have population of caribou herd is the graph. So there's somebody that, that monitored the population of caribou. Uh, it, the year is down here, going from 1980 to 1996. So the, the data isn't that recent, but that's okay. It's still a graph. We're able to determine uh, a little bit about it. The number of animals along the vertical axis, okay? So what we need to do is describe any, tr is, there, is there a trend in the data? Would we, would we be crazy to attempt to draw a nice curve through the data? I don't think so. It obviously looks like a nice, smooth curve. Uh, if the points are really scattered and all over the place, so imagine this being your graph here. If you had points that kind of, you know, went like that, and then somebody came along and decided that that was a curve, that's when you would say, wait a second, there's no trend in that data. Look at, um, I could have drawn a line. I could have done anything. I don't know if it's a curve or a line. I don't know what the trend is there. So when the points are too scattered, there is no relationship. But for our graph, to the right here, this graph, there is definitely an obvious relationship. As the population, or sorry, as the years increase, as time increases, time goes by, the number of animals is obviously increasing. You might also notice um, it didn't increase so much right off the bat. This part of the curve here isn't as steep as it is when you get up here. It's much more steep up at the top. So we, we describe this as being exponential. It's starting off sort of slowly, and as time goes by, more and more and more uh, caribou are populating this herd. Okay, so yes, you can draw a line of, or sorry, a curve of best fit, and there is a relationship in that graph. 
The last one, the growth of a sunflower, I kind of like this one. To me, again, it looks like a nice curve. This is not, you know, for somebody to come along and draw a line through that, I might question, you know, why they might have done that. It looks like a really obvious curve. So just be careful when you're looking at your scatter plot. Um, to me, I would make my, my curve of best fit. Follow right along those ordered pairs, just like that. So this is the growth of a sunflower and what it's trying to describe as the days go by. So I guess imagine the summertime. As the days go by in the summertime, the sunflower starts out not having a very large height. So here is in centimeters. So obviously the sunflower starts out as a seed. And then as time goes by, it's really increasing here. You might imagine these are really warm days in the middle of the summer right there. Um, the sunflower is growing very quickly at that time right here. And then it starts to kind of slow down again towards the top. So when you're asked about, you know, whether you're asked to describe this graph or if you're asked to look at relationships in this, this graph and this data, uh, I would describe this as the sunflower increases in height as the days increase. So as the days increase, the sunflower increases in height and then slows down. So towards the top, it's no longer increasing. It's almost horizontal right here. Um, because obviously towards the end of the summer, the sunflower stops growing as it gets colder. So you might imagine after 80 days, we have some frost and some cold temperatures. Okay. The big thing to get out of this lesson is that when you look at your, your ordered pairs on your graph, when you look at your data, you have to decide whether you see a curve or whether that information there suggests a line. So uh, you just have to take a second look and draw either a curve of best fit or a line of best fit.